Hello, and welcome to Witchy Woman Podcast. I'm your host, Danae Sweet, and this is episode 139. Today is going to be a little short because I still have a pretty good cough from having COVID. Um, and I'm going to skip smoke clearing because my lungs are still shit, so <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, but we will do a, a card pull, so let's let's do that. I'm going to pull from the um, Illustrated Herbiary um, Oracle cards from Maya Toll, er, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> illustrated by Kate O'Hara. Shuffle one more time. Okay. Let's cut once, twice, three times. Okay. We got Sweet Violet or Inner Sanctum. When I see this one, oh God, I wish you guys could see how beautiful these cards are. <clears throat> I know I gush about them, but it's it's just pretty. I love Sweet Violets. I'm going to go on a tangent. <laughs> sweet Violets are so cool. Um, I get them these wild violets all over my yard they'll just pop up in my grass and I fucking love them it's like this beautiful purple flower that just peeks up and it's just they even grow in the cracks of my sidewalks and I leave them there because I think it's cool anyway (laughs) when I see this card um one it's got this beautiful purple violet in the middle and it's like in this um locket uh, like a window locket with greenery around it and all kinds of pretty butterfly uh, surrounding it. It's a beautiful image. To me, when I say the words inner sanctum, it's asking myself, where am I getting my inner peace? Am I creating an environment for me to have that? If I'm bitching about not having any peace and quiet, am I doing anything about it? Or am I just bitching about it? <laughs> Which today, like I'm totally getting called out by my own cards because today the dogs have been awful. I have been complaining all day about them being loud. The cats have been knocking over shit. I could just go in my office, shut the door and lock them all out. But instead, my ass has been on the couch with my computer doing work instead of coming in my office. So I obviously need to take the advice of these cards and do the things. Um, create the environment at the best you can um, that you want. Um, find that inner peace. Uh, do something about it instead of just bitching. There'll probably be a lot of little breaks and things because I still have coughing fits. My voice is not very strong yet. So when I do talk a lot, I get dry and I start coughing. And so you just have to bear with me, okay? First, let's address the fact that in my last episode, I complained about Abby and her birthday people pissing me off, um, and I, in my sleepy um, mumbled a spell for them all to, like, get some kind of, I think I said jock itch and yeast infections or something like that, and I was like, oh, I'll follow up and tell you if I get yeast infections and jock itch, but no, I got COVID. Um, do I think it was because of that spell? No, because it was just a half-assed, I was half-asleep mumbling some shit. I don't even remember what I mumbled. Um, no, I think that, um, even though I'm vaccinated, I've had my second vaccination. I do the things. I wash my hands. I do the mask thing. Do the best you can. Um, Even though I do that, I was still out and about. And that's the risk that we took to go get our tattoos. And um, we caught COVID. So shit happens. We both caught it. Um, Brad didn't get it as bad. He has always been really just he gets over colds a lot easier he's got a really good immune system compared to mine mine we knew that like my doctor and I discussed um I have a a compromised immune system I have a weakened system to begin with I have a hard time with the flu um when I get colds it takes eons for me to get over them when I got influenza a um the last time it almost landed me in the hospital So that's one reason why I chose to be vaccinated, not just that reason, that was just one of the reasons. 
oop, got a cough. Hang on. Okay, I'm back. Um, but that was one of the reasons was because we figured that if I did get COVID, it would be really hard on me and my lungs. Since I had gotten influenza A, it did damage my lungs. Um, and I have a, a rescue inhaler that I use sometimes um, during like uh, the allergy seasons gets to me and for some reason it just attacks my lungs and I have a hard time breathing throughout the year randomly. So uh, it did. It uh, got my lungs. COVID kicked my ass. <laughs> uh, I don't know what strain I have. I've had people text me or email me and say, oh my gosh, what strain did you have? I have no idea. We did a rapid test. The pharmacy sent, you know, mailed us our tests um, and we took them. And so I have no idea what strain we got. Um, but I had, um, body aches, a really bad headache. Mine was a really bad throat. Um, like I had a really bad sore throat. Brad didn't. He had body aches and a fever. I had a fever as well. Um, he really didn't have much of a cough. He has like a slight, um, a slight cough. Um, mine really settled in my chest after my throat thing kind of cleared up and it just hasn't left, uh. So that's the update on my health. I am doing like I feel okay, except for this stupid cough that won't go away. Um, I'm doing the things. I have a tea blend that I drink twice, sometimes three times a day to help with immunity um, and uh, help with the chest congestion. I am a grew up in the 80s, so I cannot get enough of Vicks Vapor Rub. I like sleep in it, basically. I rub it all over my chest, um, my nose, my back, and I love putting Vicks. Okay, this is like amazing. Take a hot bath or a shower, get out, slather yourself up with a buttload of Vicks Vapor Rub, and then put that shit on your feet but then put socks on over your feet after you got the Vicks on it and it feels so tingly and wonderful. It's like, ah, oh, it just feels good when you got body aches. So anyway, that's how I sleep at night. Drives my husband nuts because he's not a Vicks fan. <laughs> I was like really sick. I'm like, can you rub this on my feet? And he was like, Ugh. not that he doesn't like feet. He just hates the consistency of Vicks. <laughs> I don't know what it is with them, but he just hates it. I feel really fortunate that I didn't have to go to the doctor or, you know, I'm not, it didn't, you know, COVID didn't get me, um, bad like it did a lot of people. Um, so I feel really fortunate. <clears throat> anyway, enough about me being sick. It was a pain in the ass, still is a pain in the ass, um, but I consider myself lucky. Um, it is February 1st, tomorrow is technically in bulk. It is the marking or the the time when it is halfway through winter, basically. Um, I'm not going to say a whole lot about it because I've covered it before on the podcast. You can go back through the episodes and catch one of those where I go through it um, in detail, how to celebrate. Basically, what I'm going to do, um, I actually did a little cleaning today in my witchy room. Um, I threw away shit that I didn't need kind of doing a little bit of purging, I guess. I threw away makeup. <laughs> like, I went through my makeup desk and it was like, ew, this, like, foundation is, like, three years old. I don't know why the fuck I'm keeping it. So, I threw away a bunch of stuff. I don't know if that's, like, my version of, like, purging for spring cleaning coming up or what, but I just felt the need to do that. I, um, fertilized the plants today. Um, the chickens are getting new bedding in their, um, little house. Um, and I kind of cleaned that up a little bit. Um, so that's kind of what I'm doing. And I'm just thankful that we're halfway through winter because it's not my favorite season because in Nebraska, it's kind of weird and cold. <laughs> um, like, for instance, um, two days ago, it was like almost 60 degrees and my lungs felt good. So I went outside and I played with my horses. I finally got some sunshine, which felt f f amazing. Um, I rode for like a hot minute. It wasn't very long, but I got to ride my horse and it just felt so good. Tomorrow, we're, we're preparing for uh, a very cold uh, snap to roll through tonight. I think the high is going to be nine degrees, but then tomorrow is supposed to be like a high of 12 with snow and then a low tomorrow night. It's going to be like negative 12. So we're preparing all the animals for the temperature change, which is really hard 
on on them. Um, so everything's getting bedded down and extra food. My horses get warm, like mashed <laughs> up uh, alfalfa. Um, they love it. It's like warm and steamy when I bring it out to them and they really appreciate it. Um, but anyway, that's just Nebraska. February can be really weird. And it's one of those months here that most of us kind of feel like we're almost holding our breath because it can either be like really bad or meh, you know? <laughs> so we're all hoping for meh <laughs> is, is kind of what we're doing here. The purpose of this episode really is to update everybody. The title of it is New Year, New Plan. Um, this year, I have some changes for pretty much a, everything across the board. So I want to start out with what I'm doing um, in the podcast for changes. So we're going to be doing things a little bit different. One, I'm not doing, I'm getting rid of all my uh, like corporate type, um, advertising accounts. Not doing that anymore. Um, it's a pain in the ass. I just don't want to do it. Um, I don't always have time to research all these companies and uh, that, that want to advertise. And I don't want to advertise for a company that I find out down the road that really I didn't agree with. So not going to do that anymore. Um, so that's the one thing. Um, second thing, I added a link on my website to take interviews and to be interviewed. I never really have put myself out there to be interviewed. So if you want to book me for your show, your publication, or whatever it is, um, you can interview me now by just going to the website and click on an interview with Danae. Um, also, the format for this podcast is going to change after after this episode. It's going to change. So we're going to do mostly interviews and group um, discussions instead of just me. So what I mean by that is we're going to do more of author interviews, other witch interviews, creators that are on social media to get their opinions about things and talk about current witchy topics. Um, and then we're also going to do more discussions in the coven that will be recorded and put live here like we did with the episode that was like completely chaos but was fucking awesome. So we're going to be doing a lot more of those. And I will be putting, uh, I'll be scheduling those in the WW coven by making an event. Um, and then I will just uh, be posting those. So say next Tuesday for... Um, for this isn't official or anything just an example so say I wanted to do a coven discussion about um gatekeeping or something like that um and that would be the episode well then I would say there would be an event say for Sunday night to have a discussion recorded on zoom with the coven and I would make that an event so everybody could join that was in the coven so that's how that will be done um and there's also a link if you want to be interviewed on the show. Um, you are an author or a content creator or a witch that just has something you are dying to talk about, and you wanna you wanna talk on the show. There's a link on my website for for that as well. So if you want to schedule that, you just schedule it. Um, so those are the the main changes as far as the podcast goes. Now we're gonna talk about the Patreon page the tiers of support and all that. So we have three tiers um, if you want to join the coven. We have the Quartz, which is a dollar a month. We have Amethyst, which is $5 a month, and Citrine, which is $10 a month. Um, with Quartz, for a dollar a month, you get in the coven. That means you get in the WW Coven, which is a Facebook group online, and that is where we do weekly card polls. I read for everybody there. Um, we have fun in that group. Um, that is where I will be doing the recordings with the Coven for the episodes. If you join the Amethyst group, this is where things have changed a little bit. The Amethyst group, you get to join the Coven and you get a spell each month. So I will post that spell in uh, the Patreon page or on the Patreon page because that's how I can control who sees what. So um, 
your spell of the month will be posted on the Patreon page. So for $5 a month, you get in the coven and you get a spell a month. Then, um, and I totally, totally was looking for like new ways to help people and somebody suggested that and I cannot remember who suggested it. I would credit them, but I cannot remember who suggested it. So, um, whoever that was, thank you for the suggestion. Um, and then for $10, that's the Citrine group. You get entry into the coven, you get the spell every month, and then you get a reading, a 15-minute card reading from me every month, but then on each quarter. So January, April, uh, July, and October, you get 30 minutes with me instead of 15. So that that is the whole... Um, tier system and the ways that you can support the podcast and the benefits that you get. So, oh, I got a cough again. Hang on. To book your citrine um, appointments, go to my website, Witchy Woman Podcast. I redid the entire site this year. So, you're going to go to uh, services. If you see services, uh, you scroll all the way down to the bottom, it'll say citrine reading. If you go to book online, you'll have to toggle over to uh, the Citrine booking link, okay? And that is where you're going to book your Citrine um, appointment. Um, I do readings Wednesdays through Saturday mornings. Um, That's when I do readings. Uh, I have things I have to do on Mondays and Tuesdays for the podcast, so that's why I don't do readings those days, and I need a day off. So Sundays, I don't do anything, (laughs) okay? I also offer, like, uh, card readings and mediumship readings, uh, also, like, on the side. So if you wanted an extra reading, or if you're not a part of the coven and you just want a reading, um, either a card reading or a mediumship reading, you can book those two. So you can book services other than this stuff for the coven if you wanted to um under services okay so that's all the road (laughs) um i have a class coming up on the 5th um of february called uh symbols in witchcraft we're gonna go over how uh, how, some of the basic symbols in witchcraft um going over like what a pentagram a pentacle um a banishing pentagram is what an invoking pentagram is. We're going to go over the witch's alphabet, some runes, um, things like that, just the basics. So you can kind of figure out which ones resonate with you. If you want to use them in your practice, I'm going to show you how to use them. We're going to talk briefly about sigils, different ways to create sigils. Um, and we're going to do some of that in class. So we're going to actually create them in class. So make sure that you bring a pencil and and paper I erase a lot so I like to use a pencil and paper but if you're like a I I just like to create and not worry about it then a pen and pencil or marker is fine if you like to paint bring a paintbrush and some paint and stuff and whatever whatever floats your boat man uh class starts at 6 p.m mountain time it's going to be a zoom class you can sign up um uh, go by going to my website again Click on um, services. It's under services for some dumb reason. I don't know why it's classified underneath there. But I do have a, a section called classes. And if you go all the way down, it'll say Zoom classes. You click on that and it takes you to services. It's a long way around, but just go to services. Scroll all the way down, it'll say um, witchcraft uh, or symbols in witchcraft Zoom class. Click on that and then you can register for the class. It's $22. It's an hour long. Um... And I hope to see you there. Um, it is a limited seated class. I didn't want a whole bunch of people in there because I want everybody to be able to ask questions freely and have enough time for me to answer everybody. So, yeah. So, take take the class, man. <laughs> All right. I'm starting to, like, have more coughing fits because I've been talking too long. I hate COVID. I hate it so bad. <laughs> um, I, I did. T- I'm not. I don't have it anymore. I just have this fucking cough that won't go away and this Gemini that wants to talk all the time can't and is driving me nuts. So in a nutshell this year I want it to be um, easier for everybody to get to the services you want to be able to get the benefits uh, out of your 
Patreon membership easier. I want us to have way more fun. I want the podcast to be more interactive. And I made it a little bit easier for me too because it was just so overwhelming. I, I was spread too thin and I, and I condensed everything a little bit. So next week, I promise it'll be way more exciting. I just wanted to get this one out so I can get all my announcements, house cleaning done, um, all that out of the road. And let you guys know that I did not drop off the face of the earth. I've just had COVID and I have not felt very well. And um, I appreciate everybody giving me the time to recoup and to rest. And I, I really appreciated everybody checking on me as well. It was, um, I needed the downtime and I really appreciate it is what I was getting at. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys are all doing well. Um and enjoy um my computer just making a noise <laughs> enjoy Invulc and um celebrating that first little bits of awakening of spring hopefully um in some parts of the of of the world um here we are going to be getting snow so yippee <laughs> All right, so until next time, stay witchy. Bye-bye.